Morning all. A little follow-up video addressing the door situation. Thank you for all your comments, really appreciate that. And I've come up with an idea. Let me show you. So as you know, my original plan was to chop a quarter inch out of there, close it up. Everyone's saying that's a terrible idea. Uh, too many things can go wrong. I've got a warped door, it'll look awful, which it probably would. So the suggestions that we're getting were to trim a little bit off of there and trim a little bit off of there, which makes sense. My worry was this folded section that runs all the way down. I would need to chop a little bit of this line out and then refill it, which means I'm going to lose a little bit of the the thickness of that line to meet that line. But let's face it, it's not going to be that kind of car anyway. Same in that side, I would lose that little section, move it in, put a wee end plate on there. So that takes care of the care of the width, but obviously I need to attach the, the top window section, which is down here. So here's my here's my plan, which I uh, probably won't do until I get your feedback, guys. Okay. So this line here, this section is a bit, but that's gone. That's rubbish. So how about if I chop from there? along that line all the way okay so that will give me from this point up I don't need to mess about with the width of that because this window is designed for this car whereas that door is not so everything from there upwards will fit okay which means I cut this along here remove this section weld on that other section so all I really have to do is trim that section, the other section, stitch it all together and hope for the best. Okay, that's uh, that's the plan, so let me know what you think of that. And while I'm on doors, I want to show you a bit of a close-up on the passenger door. It fits nice, but it's really badly mangled down the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that was a shotgun. But you know, if I rub all that down, uh, grind it down, it could actually look cool for now. It'll add to the whole vibe of the car, I think. But what I'll probably do is put some metal behind these holes just so that the water doesn't get in. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few holes. That's not shotgun, that looks like proper nine millimeter or whatever the hell I don't know guns that's not shotgun so not the best of doors but uh, once it's once it looks like the the fenders it'll be fine okay that's all for this very short video give me your feedback in the other door situation and I'll speak to you soon thanks